Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, your AKA the King of Boston, and today we have episode 33 of the Tennessee Titans Connected Careers. And today we're going up against the, it looks like, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, we entered this game at 8 0. This is year 2, week 10, obviously. And like I said uh, in yesterday's video, I apologize for not uh, having that video out on Thursday, but like I said, um, you'll be seeing, obviously back to the regular schedule so you know today you'll see Tennessee Titans connect to careers tomorrow you'll see Pistons Association Tuesday tragic you know it's all in the description but anyway getting into the gameplay here the Buccaneers come into this game you know they were doing alright on the season can't quite remember what their record was but they proved to be a pretty big challenge for us we are rocking our Houston Oilers throwbacks so Chris Johnson gets the 11 yard carry there and now first and 10 ball on the 49 yard line Carlson to Johnson once again on the handoff and Johnson picks up another nice chunk about 14 yards. He's got 26 on the day. And now Carlson play action. He's scrambling. He's looking. He's going to find Jared Cook, one of his favorite targets, one of my favorite targets, to pick up the first down. And now Carlson out of the I formation is going to find Kenny Britt. Kenny Britt doing what he does best, catching those little curl routes there. So effective when you have a guy like Kenny Britt. Just has great hands. And now Carlson, he's going to find Cook. But Cook is going to drop that one on third down from the six-yard line. So that's going to bring him fourth and goal. And we're going to play it safe, bring out Rob Baronis for the 23-yard field goal. And Baronis shanks it. I swear, I, I played this game at about 1 in the morning. And I don't even remember kicking that field goal. I just remember noticing the Bucks had the ball, and it was still 0-0. And I said, what? I shanked that field goal. That's pretty funny. But next drive, or not next drive, a few drives later for the Bucks. Josh Freeman would fumble that, and Jarrell Casey's going to get the pickup. Camerion Wimbley with the force and our defensive tackle. Second-year guy, Jarrell Casey. Gets the fumble recovery for us. So now we get the ball in pretty good field position. We are in the second quarter now because the first quarter is a pretty quiet one. Now Chris Johnson on the draw play. Doing what he's been doing all game. He's already got 40 yards on the day for the Tennessee Titans. And now Carlson, he drops back. He's looking. He's got guys going over the middle. He's going to find Chris Johnson out of the backfield. That's another reason why I really like Chris Johnson. He's pretty good out of the backfield in terms of catching little dump off routes like that. I don't really know how he plays in real life in terms of, you know, catching the ball. But... I do remember that one when he had like the 90 yard touchdown catch against Houston a few years back. But uh, anyway, you can see second goal now ball on the one yard line. Carlson drops back. He's scrambling. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to find somebody. He's going to somehow fire that in there to Jared Cook. He was kind of just like tempting the defense to come after him. And they left Cook open. And you can see there, uh, 25 was the key to leave, who's no longer on the Buccaneers. Got traded to the Patriots. He's actually uh, performed decently for them so far. But anyway, you can see here, next drive for the Bucks. Going deep. And Michael Griffin on the interception, the guy we re-signed in during last season, actually. Got a new four-year deal, really coming up big for us. Got a few interceptions already this year. Playing this uh, free safety or strong safety, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we're going to give the little screenplay to Chris Johnson. And Chris Johnson is all, oh, he almost used the speed to go all the way there. But he's got three catches for 38 yards so far on the game. Third and six ball on the 47-yard line. Carlson, he's going to find Kenny Britt to convert for that first down. Picking up about 19 yards there. Kenny Britt's got three catches so far. Carlson now shotgun formation. He drops back. He's going to scramble up the middle. He's going to slide down, pick up about six yards, but that would not be enough on third and 15. So fourth and nine now. We set ourselves up in a bit easier of a field goal for Rob Baronis, and this time Baronis would be cash. So he converts that field goal there. We go up 10 to nothing. And now the Bucks trying to run the two-minute drill, trying to get some points on the board. Josh Freeman under center. He drops back. He's going to find his man, Mike Williams, on the little slant route. Williams makes a nice juke there and is going to end up picking up about 28 yards. So a really nice play by the Bucks there. And now Freeman, he's going to find Pierre Thomas out of the backfield, the former New Orleans Saint, now Tampa Bay Buccaneer. So Thomas actually had a decent game for them today. I actually like Pierre Thomas in real life. I wish he played more for the Saints. But anyway, Freeman now is going to scramble. Trying to pick up the first down on third, but he's going to be brought down. So that's going to set up fourth and two. And I believe Connor Barth of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is going to come out. He's going to attempt this 53-yard, no, 43-yard field goal, excuse me. And that one's up and good. So the lead is cut to 10-3. to three. Connor Barth is good on that one. And that would pretty much take us into halftime. So now instead of the third quarter, I wasn't, uh, or I accidentally skipped the little halftime stats or whatever. But you can see Jeremy Shockey with a huge gain there, 37 yards. It was his first catch of the game. He must have signed with the Buccaneers at some point, either last season or this season. And now our really is Ben's going to get the catch there. He takes a huge, huge chunk of yards. 27 on that one, and now Freeman shotgun formation on third down. He's going to try to pick up this first down, maybe have a chance to tie the game. 
but Cameron Wibley's got his second sack of the game. That pushes the Bucks back to the 36-yard line, making this a very difficult kick for Connor Barth. It is up, and it is just no good. So still 10-3 to now. We get the ball back in pretty good field position. Carlson of the shotgun formation, and he's going to find Jared Cook over the middle now. Pickup of a huge gain there, about 27 yards, I believe. So now first and 10 on the 31-yard line, Carlson. He just back shotgun once again, and he's going to find Randy Moss, putting in a tight seam. Wow, just really fit it in there. That was a dangerous throw, but it worked out, and Randy Moss picks up the touchdown for the Tennessee Titans. So we go up 17-3. to We're going to try and blow this game open a little bit. Next punt for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You're going to see, My I believe, Michael Conan is going to kick this one away. Mariani on the return. You can see Akeem Ayers falls down, and now <laughs> Mariani's going to fall into Akeem Ayers or whatever. And um, thought that was pretty funny. So that we get the ball in pretty good field position. That was kind of the point of showing you the punch that we did take over. Ball about the 50-yard line now. Second and three. Finds Cook. Huge pickup. 14 yards on that one. Gets the first down. You can see Carlson with a really nice day so far, completing almost 80% of his passes. Very RG3 like. And now the draw play to Chris Johnson up the middle on first and 17 after a holding call. Picks up nine yards. Sets up for a second and eight, which we would eventually turn into third and eight. And now Carlson, he's looking back. He's scrambling. Is he going to find somebody scrambling? Whoa. Can he avoid this rush? Boy, well, somehow managed to get a positive gain out of that. Ended up being fourth and seven. Ball on the 33-yard line. This means it's going to be a 50-yard field goal attempt. And Rob Baronis is good on that one. So 20-3 to three now. We're 17 points ahead into the fourth quarter. This game is just about wrapped up. Not quite, but if we can get a few more stops, we should be good. Pierre Thomas going to pick up about seven yards there and that catch out of the backfield on the throw from Josh Freeman. But now third and three, ball on the 42-yard line. Freeman drops back. He's looking. He fires it over. He's going to find Aurelius Ben, who somehow hangs on up, taking the big hit there by the Titans' defensive back. So now first and ten on the 41-yard line. The Bucks need to score here to stay in this game. Time is winding down, about 8.50 left in the fourth. Freeman drops back. He's going to find Pierre Thomas once again out of the backfield. And Thomas has already got five catches, almost 40 yards receiving on the day. So really nice, you know, solid performance by him. Can't expect too much more out of him. And now, here he's catching the screen play. Makes a juke move and picks up about 16 yards. So, he, so Thomas has gone over 50 yards receiving on the day. And now, we're going to give it to, or they're going to give it to Leon Washington on 3rd and 9. Not a smart decision, trying to give it to a guy like Leon Washington at 3rd and 9. Mm, I don't know about that one. But anyway, it's going to set up 4th and 10. Connor Barth on once again. Dan Orvlosky on the hold. And Barth's kick is up and good. So it's 20 to 6. Two touchdown game. But you know what? Whenever we get up in these situations. Actually, wait a moment. <laughs> so uh, Josh Freeman finds Vincent Jackson there. Picks up about 9 or 10 yards. Going to set up a third and inches. And this is on third and inches. Freeman, he drops back. He's firing it in there. He's going to somehow find Jeremy Shockey. A perfect throw right in between the defenders. Where only Jeremy Shockey could get it. They'd eventually drive down. Fourth and two now. And Freeman's going to get sacked. This time, it is, I believe, that wasn't Dave Ball. I think that was Camry on Wembley, even though the replay just showed. Or not the replay, but the little thing cut to Dave Ball. And we would end up running out the clock, so. Sorry I didn't show you too much of that last drive. It was just kind of a bunch of, like, dump-offs. Nothing too exciting, and the point of it was that, you know, they didn't convert on the fourth down. And uh, we got the ball back and ran out the clock, because that's what Chris Johnson does. <laughs> so anyway, we end up winning this game 20-6. to You can see, once again, dominating them in a lot of categories. Score was actually pretty close, though. Uh, the Bucks. <laughs> hung in there for a while. I was going to say hanged in there, but hung in there for a while. Carlson with a really nice day. 200 yards, two touchdowns, good completion percentage. Chris Johnson, not quite to 100 yards. Pierre Thomas, you know, we we have a great run defense. I mean, running backs rarely do well on us, so Pierre Thomas didn't have a great day rushing. Did have a good day receiving, though. And anyway, that is going to wrap up this video, so I thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'm out. Peace.